Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Lancashire Healer, an energetic little pet who appreciates all that family life has to offer. As always, we've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you are drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the join button. Now, let's get into the video, starting with the breed's history. Although the Lancashire Healer has been around since the 1700s, there needs to be proof to back up the history of the Lancashire Healer. However, most experts agree that other breeds, including the Dachshund, may have been involved in its development. They also claim that it originated in Great Britain's Welsh and English regions as a cross between the Corgi breed and a type of Black and Tan Terrier, possibly the Manchester Terrier. A specific breed of Welsh Corgi transported goods from North Wales to the Lancashire market, the Butcher's Dog. A tiny Black and Tan breed was widely distributed in the Ormskirk region of West Lancashire. The breed is small enough to bite at the cattle's heels and agile enough to get out of the way before being kicked. Thus, they were an excellent choice for controlling livestock at home and while going to market. When they weren't busy herding cattle, these small canines served as effective ratters, helping to rid the farm of pests. Despite a population reduction, interest in this breed was revived in the 1960s. In Britain, the Lancashire Healer Club was established in 1978. The Kennel Club of the United Kingdom officially acknowledged the breed in 1981. By 2003, it had been designated as a vulnerable native breed. Due to the tiny size of the breed's gene pool and the high prevalence of various genetic disorders, the Kennel Club of the United Kingdom added the breed to its endangered breeds list in 2003. Thanks to the hard work of a breed named Gwen McIntosh, the United Kennel Club in the United States recognized this breed in 2009. Although it's not officially recognized by the FCI or the AKC, this breed is recognized by the AKC as a foundation stock service breed. It is eligible to compete in herding competitions. As of 2016, it was also provisionally recognized by the FCI. The Lancashire Healer is becoming more popular in the United States, Sweden, the Netherlands, and Australia. Appearance the Lancashire Healer is a stout little dog that typically ranges in size from 6 to 13 pounds and stands at 10 to 12 inches tall. They're adorable precisely because of their petite stature. The Lancashire's paws are tiny and well padded, and although it often does not form a complete ring, the tail is carried over the back with a little curve. The tail is carried over the back and held high. They have straight, well-boned legs that are shortened, similar to the corgi, from which they're most likely derived, and a longer body. They have a tapering face, a proportion proportionate head and an alert animated expression. The ears are trapezoidal and kept upright while the eyes are almond shaped and either dark or light brown to match their coat. Small and robust, the Lancashire Healer has a soft undercoat entirely concealed by a layer of short thick hair that lies flat against the body. Seasonally, the coat is either long or short. It has a glossy shining coat in the summer and a fluffy noticeable mane in the winter. The most typical coloration for these dogs is a black and tan mix. However, liver and tan are other well-known hues. Some of these dogs may be born with tricolor, brindle, or sable colors, although they're not often acknowledged by the kennel clubs. Temperament the Lancashire Healer makes a great pet and behaves well with responsible kids of a certain age. The breed is a very vigilant and sociable dog with familiar faces but may be apprehensive of strangers. They quickly pick up new skills and have a cheerful disposition to boot. When happy, healers pull back their lips to mimic a human grin, a behavior known as the healer smile. The Lancashire has a natural tendency to herd and may need to be trained to stop nipping at people's heels. Despite its potential obedience training challenges, this breed is teachable. Despite its impressive herding capabilities, this breed is seldom employed to herd livestock such as cattle, goats, or horses. Socialization as always, we like to point out that poorly socialized dogs are more likely to exhibit behavioral issues and may misbehave in circumstances they're unfamiliar with. For this reason, the Lancashire Healer should begin the socialization process as soon as the first day he gets home with you. There are several methods to socialize your dog. Still, the most crucial step is to familiarize them with the many settings they can encounter. Socialization may begin at home and gradually move to other places. You can visit parks with your dog so they can socialize with other canines and humans. Teach your dog to be alone for a time without making a scene. The Lancashire Healer may make a good pet, but homes with secure backyards are best suited for them. As long as you socialize these dogs correctly, they can be fantastic friends. 
Grooming The Lancashire Healer needs minimal maintenance because of the short, hard, flat coat that is thick and waterproof. The coat is minimal maintenance and may be kept in excellent condition with frequent cleaning using a brush with firm bristles. You should only give your Lancashire Healer a bath if they really need one, and whenever you do, dry them thoroughly, especially their undercoat, which may trap moisture near the skin and encourage the growth of germs and fungi. Checking for fleas and ticks is essential for keeping the coat free of burrs, dirt, and excessive hair. Wax and debris accumulation in the ear canal may lead to infection. Therefore, it's essential to check your ears periodically. As a part of the grooming routine, a nail clipper or grinder may be used to keep the nails short, even, and free of splits and cracks. Regular brushing of the teeth is essential to prevent germs and cavities. Grooming sessions should be fun-packed and considered a bonding time for you and your healer. We advise that you start grooming your dog at a tender age to help it get used to being touched. It's always a welcome idea to groom your pet yourself. However, suppose you're always busy or need help to do it yourself for other reasons. In that case, it's entirely okay to contact a professional to get the job done. Exercise Due to their high levels of energy and intelligence, these dogs need at least 30 minutes to an hour of daily exercise and mental stimulation. It must be taken during a regular, vigorous, lengthy walk. While on the walk, the dog must be trained to heel next to or behind the person carrying the lead since, in a dog's eyes, the human must always be in charge. Your dog may receive the exercise and mental stimulation it needs by going for walks and runs. Still, other activities, such as playing with puzzle toys and participating participating in training sessions can help too. Some physical activities that may be done outside to burn off excess energy include swimming, hiking, and catching balls or flying discs. Playing in a fenced-in backyard is also a great way to provide your dog with the necessary exercise. Even without a yard, this little puppy will be fine if it gets lots of attention and exercise. Indoor games like hide-and-seek, chasing a ball rolled over the floor, and practicing new techniques are great ways to get your heart rate up and burn some calories. They might be overbearing in their need for retention or surprisingly chill, but they're always game for some fun. Training Lancashire healers are loving and devoted to their masters and always eager to follow their lead. Even if they first show some reluctance around new people, as they get to know someone, they tend to warm up to them and welcome them with plenty of kisses and licks. The breed is naturally bright and fast to pick up new skills, but they may also be stubborn. They tend to be sociable with humans, but may be aggressive against canine companions. Early training and consistent socialization help the breed become a well-rounded pet, while that it, be sure to impact kindness and positive reinforcement as the basis of their training. Diet and Nutrition the Lancashire Healer should thrive on veterinary-approved high-quality dog food, whether purchased commercially or cooked at home. A balanced, superior diet should be provided for your dog to get all they need. For optimal health, a dog's diet should reflect its age, and clean water should be provided at all times. Be mindful of your dog's calorie intake and weight, since certain dogs may become overweight if their calorie intake exceeds their activity level. While treats may be a helpful training tool, large portions can lead to weight Game. Find out what kinds of human foods can be fed to your dog and what kind can't. If you're concerned about your dog's nutrition or weight, it's best to see a veterinarian. Health the Lancashire Healer is generally a healthy breed. However, they are susceptible to several health problems and concerns like any other dog breed. Get acquainted with these illnesses if you have plans to get in contact with or adopt this breed. Collie eye anomaly, primary lens luxation, persistent papillary membrane, and a few others are ocular disorders often encountered by the Lancashire Healer. Primary lens luxation was identified as a hereditary eye condition in 2006. The prevalence of PLL has decreased because of the efforts of breeders and animal health groups doing research. Puppies and their parents should both get their eyes examined. Healers easily reach their 20s with proper care, although the typical lifetime of these canines is between 12 and 15 years. Always visit your veterinarian for frequent health checks. How old is your dog and how often do you visit the vet? Let us know in the comments section below. Consider becoming a member of our channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlist and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.